Alright, and welcome back once again. And this one shouldn't take that long. This is just going to be a basic beat. And yes, I did learn this actually from another tutorial, which was very good, but the name of it escapes me right offhand. That'll do. Nice deep kick. So basically, if you're using a program like Acid Music Studio, a cheaper program, you don't have a whole lot of fine-tuned control over everything, you're basically stuck dropping things into a timeline, which makes it great for fine-tuned control on beats and stuff. I actually love this program for doing beats. I hate sequencers. I've tried to use them, and I just hate not having um, more control over the process myself. You know, uh, I do tend to just let my beats ride too much. You know, I don't break them up as much as I should. But that's more because using beat, uh, loops entirely for tracks, you tend to get into this mindset, well, repetition really isn't all that bad. Unfortunately, for most, even electronic type music, unless you're doing like something like trance, which repetition doesn't seem to matter all that much. But okay, so we've got kick... So then we need clap. That was not much of a clap. Um, still the need for more cowbell. Well. Find me a damn sample here. There we go, just a basic clap. This should be right. We want 140 beats per minute, by the way. And then sometimes I forget my placement here, but I believe it is. usually pretty damn good at doing the beats. Unfortunately, sometimes I do forget, which is why I have... That's why I have basses. And by that, I don't mean basses, as in... Like, dubstep bass. I mean, I have... You know, for some sometimes I lose the placement in my head where it should be, so I just have this as a base I made, and all I have to do, you know, because I know that the larger uh, sound waves are the bass, and the smaller ones right here are the claps, and then there's hi hats and stuff in there. So now I have that placed correctly. Now, how you do your claps can depend on how you want to do. It. I mean, one good thing I picked up off of that tutorial, and I'm sorry, dude, if you watch this at some point in the future, I cannot remember what your name was. Okay.
next thing we need, yeah, I'd go with the open. out that or you can more or less have it just with a kick. variations on this sort of thing that you can work with. You know, and let's say hi-hats, you know, you can do and a simple way to do it would be like a trio right after you're open. basic structure here. Now we can go ahead and throw in some accents. Alright. I'm just going to use some of my own vocal sample here. Okay, 
so tons of possibilities you know variations on a theme obviously but tons and tons of possibilities you know and here's my other little trick for doing my beats basically what I would do is I would render this out and let's see where is the bases dubstep there we go set two basically I'll make a well, I don't want it in there necessarily new folder set three open it up drums base three okay we don't need that because we've got it in a new folder and we just call this drums base and of course you want to save as a wave file unless for some reason you don't want to use wave okay and then basically what you do is using the mute here okay I would go ahead and mute out everything but my drums and claps okay and then render as uh, kick and clap works okay and then maybe take out the claps and just do the kicks okay render as kicks and get a variation you know different variations on all of the different drums and this is a way you can break it up okay so I'll go ahead and stop this video I'm gonna continue to render out a few more versions of this and then I'll show you what I mean by breaking it up you know your placement and everything okay although I will show you one thing you can do uh, a lot of dubstep tends to have a strong lead in so something you might want to do is an actual four to the floor uh, kick beat at some point bum, 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 bum. in this case I'm doing four bars at once so you'd get you know you're uh, increasing the speed on those kicks so you'd have something as a lead in or out okay and then we can just back up and put it back where it was okay so like I said I'm at 13 minutes over 13 minutes now so I'm sorry for dragging this on for you so much but like I said hopefully you learned something this is Ryan Acidheads Murphy that's acidheads.com acid spelled normally A-C-I-D and then H-E-D-Z acidheads okay and I am on SoundCloud now that's SoundCloud slash acidheads so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one and like I said that's gonna be arrangement more or less so thanks for watching once again I tend to repeat that a lot for some reason and see you in the next one bye